if you were starting from ground zero with $50 a day in budget, how would you go about monetizing a weight loss brand for women? One of the following would you do first in conjunction with your content marketing strategy? Would you create a line of supplements? Run webinars to high ticket webinars to high ticket weight loss programs. Drop ship weight loss products and reinvest. Some other strategy I'm not seeing. So um, you're in the weight loss market and you want to know what is the best business model. Essentially, you only you, you did three business models there, right? One would be creating a white label brand. The other would be uh, high ticket offers for for weight loss programs, and the other would be drop ship to weight loss products. So if I had to choose between those three. I'm either running a, a, a webinar for a high ticket offer, I'm creating my own line of products via white label, or I'm drop shipping. It would depend on how much money I had. Because if I had zero money and I was really on a budget, I would probably start with drop shipping. Because if you think about doing a white label brand, let me give you the numbers on this. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this down for you because this is really interesting. So the beauty of drop shipping is you can literally put that $50 a day right into ads. All of it can go into awareness and then you just drop ship products until you, until you find something that works uh, and that's making a little bit of money and then you reinvest all that money in creating your own brand. If you really only, only have 50 bucks a day, um, I would probably actually save that 50 bucks a day up until I had, let's see, if you, if you, if you save 50 bucks a day for a month, that's 1500 bucks. So I would wait four months and I would save up the five grand because the five grand is what you're going to need to launch your own brand. Because if you think about it, you're going to spend probably, let's say between 750, let's just go on the high end, $1,000 for, um, you know, back and forth with product, you know, l looking at suppliers, looking at different products, doing the label, building the website. So you're probably going to spend your first thousand doing this. setting up business infrastructure, sort of buying, buying, you know, all the stuff that you're going to need, Slack and all that. It's probably where your first thousand is going to go. Your second 2000, right? If you're doing your own white label brand, your second 2000 is probably going to go for your first inventory order. Let's say you're buying uh, each bottle of supplements for six bucks. Uh, you're probably going to want to buy a couple hundred of them. So you're probably going to spend two grand on your initial order. And then I would take the other 1500 bucks and then, so if, if you saved up three months, that's 4,500. So now we're at that 4,500 and I'd put it towards ads and then I'd put $50 a day towards ads. I would move in the direction of creating my own brand. And the reason I would do that is because it has lasting ongoing value. Once you get it going, you keep those customers. Nobody else has that brand. Nobody else can sell that brand. Uh, and it just is, is real valuable in the long term to have your own brand. So I would do that over drop shipping any day. Now, as it relates to... Um, the uh, high-end webinars, that's just a completely different business model, right? Like, do you have a program that you could sell for $1,000 or $1,500? The thing there is you have to write like a 90-minute sales pitch, an educational sales pitch. Then you have to run ads and get people to consume it and follow up with them. Um, and basically, you have to be able to deliver that. So you've got to create the product, which is filming videos. You're probably going to spend a couple grand creating the product. It's about the same amount of money to get that business off the ground as it is to get your own white label business off the ground because you're probably going to spend a grand or two creating the product, uh, building out the website, setting up all the tech, using Zipify pages, all that. And then you're going to need to spend a couple grand on ads. So, so, you know, they're both the same thing. I personally prefer e-commerce businesses to information businesses. If I have to choose one, uh, even though I run both, I, I would, I prefer the e-commerce business as a business model. I think it's a better, more scalable, uh, less, um, less risky business model than an information publishing model. So I personally would go white label, uh, if I was, you know, starting over from scratch I'd save up till I had four or five grand and I'd go white label all day long. But, uh, I like high ticket webinars as well. They're just two completely different models. They're both good. It's not like one's better than the other. It just depends on uh, what you're most com compelled by. Um, let's see what we have next. You might mention that advertising weight loss products on Facebook is very tricky. Facebook is very strict and doesn't like them at all. I mean, yeah, you have to, I assume everyone knows that weight loss is just in supplements are a crazy industry to get into super hard. Everything gets shut down. Uh, any kind of claim is considered a false claim. It's a very hard industry. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you do get approved, it's also very lucrative, very profitable. And uh, a lot of people are very successful in that industry. So it has a higher, high barrier to entry and it has a lot of downsides, but it also has a lot of upsides. 
sides as well. So I assume if someone's considering the weight loss market, they know that it's a, it's a, you know, it's one of those markets that's, that's tough, but has a big payoff uh, if you do well in it. Um, but thank you, Kitty. I appreciate that. Uh, it's good. Always good to mention that you're, you're totally right. 